That's not something I'm thinking about now, though. Because I am Chrono Trigger is, like, not even really... It, it's, like, gonna happen. I think I already said it's gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen anytime soon. I can't even say next year, to be honest. so much experience i love it a short game all things considered oh trust me i know it is a very short game but i have other games to play <laughs> it being short is not even the factor I need you to die. I think I'm just gonna blizzard with you. And you do this. Honestly, yeah, I silverlight Alex and Mia before the boss here, and then for Kyle? I don't even need a silverlight. Jessica, I don't even need a silverlight. I just silverlight Alex and Mia, and then we're fine, I think. Saving. Also, wait, how long I've been streaming? I gotta... Hour and 13 plus hour and 13. Oh, no, two hours and 13 plus hour and 13. That's like... Three hours and 26. So I need to go for... 50 more minutes, I think? Give or take 50 minutes. No, I'm crazy. I gotta go for 40 more minutes. When I get to the hour and 55 minute mark, that'll be four hours. That's what I'm thinking of. Excuse me, pardon me. Okay, we're doing this again. Try ring? I think I remember the try ring being amazing. I am absolutely doing this. By the power of Athena. Ba -ba -bum. I can't flash cut. I want to, but I can't. Holy cow! Five gift subs? Five gift subs right now? Thank you so much. Why are you gifting so many subs? Thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, though. Five at the total time. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Sonic Riser. Hey, excuse me? Pardon me? Okay, wasn't expecting that. I should have been, though. Need to ice wall. I got a silver light after this, although I really don't want to unless I'm at the boss. Uh, you do that. Summon elemental power. Althena, lend me your power. Oh. 
Sonic Riser. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, dang it. Now I want lemonade. Why did I have to say that? I want lemonade now. Like, freshly squeezed lemonade. Not just, like, Minute Maid. Wow. I'll probably buy more Starlights when they get back to the world- the... Silver Star. I don't want to use my Silver Lights until I'm, like, at the boss fight. Kind of my plan. I will buy more starlights. You lived! And I had everyone guard! Heavy cannon, oh dear. It's fine, you're dead now. That's all that matters. Get him, Jessica. You get the final blow. Never mind, Alex gets it. Level 38. Oh, how many more enemies are there? I don't need to go this way. I need to go this way. I got away from you, but I didn't get away from you. I can flash cut again. Really weird how you can't use the wind cane. I don't know why. Athena, lend me your power. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba -bum. That flash cut was kind of terrible. But Kyle should be able to finish some of them. At least the mirrors. Up, 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 um, fire kick. I like fire. Up, 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 um. Do something. Do something. Wait, attack. You keep healing. Imagine if Mia killed there. Owie. There the well. Never mind, you're still alive somehow. Oh, me, I got the weakness. The wind cane. I'm just gonna do it. Silver light. Silver light Jessica? We definitely don't silver light Kyle. No, I think I starlight Jessica. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Do I have an herb? I don't have any herbs. That's fine. I'm gonna have to fight these things, which sucks. Am I really not 20 hours in this game? Playtime might be a little off, but I'm actually shocked that we're like just reaching 20 hours. That's actually kind of surprising. Not gonna lie, that's really surprising. I'm like really shocked. I'm like shocked how much faster I'm going through Lunar 1 this time around. Again, I played the game, but still, I'm really surprised. You lived? You lived the flash cut and the blizzard? How dare you?
I think we're at the end. Probably. Yeah, this is definitely the end. And there is a boss here, because I remember the boss here. I remember what happens here, like, very well. Cabin's Tower. Well, well, well. To what do we owe the honor of this visit, humans? It's not often we receive visitors here. In fact, we discourage the practice. Who are you? My name's Cabin, and this is, as they say, your lucky day. For you see, you have come at precisely the right time to witness the extraordinary. Today is the debut of my latest invention, the Mobile Magic Masher. Sounds interesting, but you might want to think twice about the name, bud. By the name, by the time we're done, you'll be changing the name to I'm Mobile. <laughs> okay. Alas, your feeble words won't save you, human. It's time to introduce those who disobey the Magic Emperor to the true meaning of terror. I don't like the sound of that one bit. Cabin wasn't lying. There is powerful magic very close to us. I could sense it. You didn't listen to me. I warned you, but you didn't listen. How ignorant and irresponsible can you be? I recognize that voice. Afraid to show yourself, traitor? You should be. Afraid of you? <laughs> You're the one who's gonna feel fear, fear Kyle. Nash, what are you doing? Inside this armor, my power is amplified beyond measure. Yeah, this looks incredibly stupid. You can't stop me. You can't even hope to slow me down. Your only choices are submission and servitude or failure and death. Alex, is it just me or does Nash look kind of like a giant chicken? If you value your lives, you'll cease your disobedient course and obey the magic emperor. You're a moron. Don't even- don't force him to destroy you and everything you care about. Shut up, you moron. You think I'm gonna listen to you after what you've done? I'm gonna knock you and that ridiculous getup of yours to the blue star and back. I wasn't able to talk any sense to you before, so why should you- Why should you start listening now? Now I have to use force, but don't fret, I shan't kill you. That comes later, and not at my hand. You're gonna even kill Mia? Uh... I'm so tired. Damn you, Nash. Mia, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt anyone. I did this all for you. You're an idiot! Nash. You idiot! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, deserved. Do you really think that doing this would make me happy? What made me happy is when you were helping us. When you were helping Alex. Don't you understand why he's trying so hard to save Luna? Don't you understand anything? No, he doesn't. Um, I do like that you see the the shadow or the print of Mia's hand there as he as she slapped him. That's really cool. That's like really like nice attention to detail, and it also makes the scene that much more impactful. Please, Nash, please stop this cruel charade. I, I love you, Nash, but I hate what you're doing to us. Mia deserves so much better, by the way. Sorry, Mia. I'm really messed- I really messed up this time, didn't I? Oh, hell yeah, you did. Oh, Nash. Sorry, Mia, and all of you. I thought I was doing what was best. But I was really thinking only about myself. Oh, yeah, very selfish. I only wish I could take back everything I've done. Nash. Alas, despite this little change of heart, the power of my invention must be known. I won't let you all depart without a minor demonstration via remote control. Behold the power of the mobile magic masher humans! I knew that apology was just another damn lie. You're dead, Nash. Dead! That wasn't me, Kyle. I'm not doing anything. Nash, help me, Mia. We will put Nash out of his misery. So, like, I mean... I, I am having a different opinion of Nash, because like when I first played this game, I didn't really like Nash all that much. By the end of the game, and... Throughout the game, I was like, Nash was like, I didn't really like him per se, but he just bothered me a lot less. But, um... This betrayal scene still doesn't roll well with me after having played the game again. I don't think this betrayal scene is like... 
Like, I, I see where Nash is coming from, but Nash really messed up. Like, he went about it in the wrong way. And he realizes that now, and Mia, like, got him to his senses. That was a really good scene of Mia, like, slapping him out of reality, or slapping him back into reality. By the way, I think this fight is a pushover. <laughs> this fight is, like, laughably easy. But, um... Nash, like, really screwed up, and I think the betrayal scene could have been done a little better. By the power of Athena. It is, like, probably one of the weakest points narratively of the game. But, um, overall, like, I do, like, I wouldn't say I like Nash. Nash is easily my least favorite of the characters still, but I don't hate him, necessarily. I mean, after the sequence, I almost hate him. I hate him in the moment, you know? But he does kind of feel bad, and, like, he can be redeemed a little bit, even though I really think the betrayal could have been done a lot better, and I don't think he deserves the same kind of forgiveness, because, like, again... Reporting everything to Gallium was crossing the line. It's one thing to be like, hey, think this through. Don't go fight Gallium. I don't want Mia to die. But he was like, he was consumed by his desires and like, a, haha, Persona 5. He was consumed by his desires and just like, you know, got selfish in it. And really, he said it was all for Mia, but it was all for himself. So like, I mean, he really went about it in the wrong way. Uh, Lumeria, Power Slash. Yeah, this fight is, like, laughably easy, by the way. By the power of like, he still takes a while, like all Lunar bosses do, but, I mean, he's doing hardly any damage. Athena, lend me your power! Yeah, I mean, like, Nash hated him in my first playthrough, all the way through. He didn't really bother me, like, up until the betrayal in this playthrough. Like, he's still my least favorite, easily, of the five, but, I mean, uh, of the six, I even like Luna more than him, even though Luna doesn't get too much screen time. But, um... This betrayal scene does do a bit on this character, I will admit. It could have done it so much better. Like, I see what they were going for, too, but it just, it just really... makes Nash look like a terrible person. And, uh, honestly, what it does is make me like Mia a lot more, because Mia can, like, look past all this, and she's, like, willing to still be with Nash and, like, saying she loves him and everything, so really, this just makes Mia look like an even better person, and this helps her character growth, but it kind of makes Nash look terrible. So, yeah. That's basically my thoughts on the Nash betrayal here. Yeah, like, Nash is- oh my word, that did a lot. Turns out you are capable of killing. I think I underestimated Nash a little bit. And I also didn't give anyone Starlights, that's a problem. Hopefully not a big one, though. Need to start flame bombing. 